In this video, we're going to take a look at the Fruity Free filter, and more specifically, what filters are in general. What is a filter when we talk about it in the context of music production? Well, a filter filters out specific frequencies from a source sound, and depending on the kind of filter you're using will depend on what sounds you're keeping and what sounds you're getting rid of. For instance, a low-pass filter, like the name suggests, will only pass through low frequencies, which is the way to remember it, whereas a high-pass frequency filter will only pass through the higher frequencies. Let's have a look at this in practice. We're going to launch an instance of FL Keys, as we always do, by clicking on the plus button and scrolling down to FL Keys. Once we've launched this, we're going to go into the piano roll, make sure FL Keys is currently selected in the target channel, and create a simple melody. Let's just play that back. Now, we'll go back into the channel rack and make sure it's assigned to mixer track 5. If we now go into the mixer to mixer track 5 and click on an empty slot and navigate down to the fruity free filter, down here we'll then get an instance of the fruity free filter. Let's have a look at what this sounds like when we change some of these options. I'm going to put the frequency up to 16,000 Hz, play this back, and change it so that you can hear the effect it has. As you can see, as I bring this cutoff frequency level down, the sound seems to disappear away because you can only hear the lower frequencies. It's similar to the effect of hearing music underwater or being in another room when a sound or music is being played in a neighbouring room. Let's just take a quick look at some of the controls you get in the Fruity Free filter. First of all, you can change the type of filter that it is. So for instance, the demonstration I was just doing was on a low pass filter. We can also change this to a bandpass filter, which means that you're specifically affecting a band of frequencies. If we change the frequency cutoff, it'll allow frequencies either side of this particular band before then cutting it off. We also have a high pass frequency filter. This will allow frequencies only above the frequency cutoff level to pass through. Let's give a demonstration of that by turning this first of all down to 10 Hz, and playing back the piano sound. You've got the Q control here as well, which is essentially a resonance controller. This means that it affects essentially how clearly you can hear the filter being applied. If we try turning this all the way up, and now try changing the frequency cutoff, you'll hear the filter being applied much more aggressively. Finally, we have a gain control. The gain control simply applies the volume gain that's being applied to the source sound after the filter is applied. So for instance, I could turn this all the way down and get this effect. That's the Fruity Free filter. Let's have a look at some other effects plugins now as well.